I really hope it's that pretty inside the operating room. You think it's gonna be that pretty? No. Uh, I, don't I bet think it's so your pretty uh, standard operating room. Yeah, stainless steel. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll let you go until we get inside. Here at Tria to fix this left shoulder right here. So um, Amber's the lucky person that gets to take me. So lucky. Hey, you're the one that wanted to go. I I had many people that wanted to take me. Oh, you're just the so lucky popular. person that got chose. Oh, I got chose. Yeah. yeah no, I I chose for you. No, no, I chose you. We're we're an hour early. Amber's not too happy about it, but I did not want to miss this because I'm sick of dislocating my shoulder. So um, we'll find out how much they gotta do to fix it and figure out our timetable and how soon we can um, get back to doing physical therapy so we can get back in the race car. Cause that's what really matters here. It's getting back in that dang race car. All right, so the nurse just left and got his IV in and it hurts. ready to go. Yeah. I've never seen this before. Well, this is a bear hugger. Yeah, it's they this. connect it down there and it blows warm air in. Let me tell you, it's actually really nice. It's really nice if you can't tell. I mean, I'm just over here wishing I could do this every day. Not really. We'll, uh, we'll get this done and get it taken care of and uh yep so we're just waiting on the anesthesiologist to come in and talk to us tell us the game plan and then we're also then waiting on the surgeon to come in tell us what he's gonna go in and do and how long it'll be and then off you go yeah i'm not looking forward to it to be honest but uh we will get it done it needs to be done mm -hmm. they also gave him this yeah. Lavender patch to try and calm him down because she saw how much he was shaking. Oh, wow. That's nothing. You should see when they get worked up. There's a couple of people around the pits you can ask. You know who you are. Alright, so I just got back here. Surgery went well. Cody's a little sleepy. Um, they were telling me that uh, surgery was a little bit more difficult because his tendons are more so like rubber and um so they kept slipping around um, trying to get him to wake up a little bit cody you want to talk to us hey i got the camera out you want to say anything maybe we'll get a little bit more out of him and he's more awake are you hungry <laughs> All right, guess we'll try again in a little bit. What a beautiful day. It's finally 30 degrees after a long um, cold streak that we had. And it was pretty nasty, but like I said, it's finally 30 degrees and uh, it kind of gets you in a race of mood. And here we are, we're in the shop. We're going to pull the 604 crate motor out um, and get this Great late mall either raffled off or we'll, or we'll fix it and get it all ready to go for 2023. So we have a lot of work to do as you guys can see. Um, and just kind of get to it here. We got to drain the water out of the motor. Basically pull it out and we'll get started. Come on. Here. Watch out. Legs still hurt from surgery? Huh? Legs still hurt from surgery? Oh, yeah. Alright, so we have the tires on the car. We're getting ready to push this thing out so we can pull the motor out. But, well, look who's here. What's up, CBR Nation? <laughs> oh, you sound like some people that uh, sound pretty silly out there. <laughs> so, 
Our goal is still to raffle this off. If it does not get raffled off, we will keep it in races next year. Um, just like we I, I just had a great idea. You know what you should do? Get some Billy Bob teeth. You know, you have some. <laughs> I know, but you can wear them, and it seems to be the thing out there lately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. I don't know if you've seen it lately, but... There's a lot of wannabe hot Carls out there. <laughs> so, I mean, he has a great business philosophy and thing going there, but... Uh, there's only one I, hot I really, Carl. Yeah, there's only one hot Carl, and I don't think you can impersonate him very well. So, yeah, we'll just stick to being us. But, yeah, our goal, obviously, is to wrap this thing off. We have, we have something in place if the car goes down the road, but as you guys can see... We don't have room for another car, so um, that's our goal for right now. And uh, let's get air in these tires so we can roll it out. So, should I be like somebody? Our driver here is pulling <laughs> the radiator hose yeah. off of the 604 right now, or attempting to. Attempting to. What do you think, driver? I think that you calling me driver sounds really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Father Tim over here, hard at work. Finally doing something oh. for once in his life. Marcus and Dad are busy working. I wouldn't say this is relaxing, but it's a lot better than busting your knuckles on the race car in the cold. So. Show Mark Travis. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at the Parker. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to be picking a race car up this weekend with that thing. That'll be fun. You get to come out and shovel for me. Really. So that's our... That's what the trailers look like right now. We've got a lot of snow, as you guys can see. Um, but, like, Dad and I were talking this weekend, or... I mean, there's a lot coming this out. This week? Yeah. Um, we think that the cold has passed us, finally, right so. Right. You think the cold's passed us, Marcus? Probably. The cold part? I'm sure we'll end up... Oh, yeah, we're going to get, gonna get, we're gonna get ass handed in snow. Here. Don't trip. I got the door, don't worry. All the tolts are over there. There's a whole bunch of them with the red containers still on it. What's the nice thing about late models, you were saying, Dad? They roll really, they roll really nice. I like your hairy back. Oh. <laughs> Dogs are shedding badly. They're getting ready for spring, too. So. Six more weeks, though. No? Tell everyone what you did, or what we had to do to the carburetor and the motor before we pulled, or we're, before we're pulling it out with the fog. You, you've never done that before. No, I've never fogged the motor, and we really didn't have to. It's going to be inside the building, but, but just, just for the, just to make, well, to try to. Uh, keep any problems from happening we fogged it anyway so I did have a motor years ago on race supers the um, I don't know if you even knew about that I used to come in here and start it up every so often but what happened was I kept the temperature in here about you know, too low yeah uh, when we're in here working I 52. turned up to 60 70 degrees and then we leave I turned down to like 40 and Cody come up here one weekend and I said just start the motor every time I come up here to start the car. He started, started, he goes, it won't start. I'm like, okay, whatever, you flooded it, Demi. Whatever. Yeah, yeah I, and got, I got the blame. So I come up here a little bit later and it wouldn't fire. It would kind of like half fire, but not. And then I kept monkeying, like a week, took me a week and I could never get it to fire. And it was like, ah, ah, ah. like the battery was dead, but it wasn't dead. We put the charger on it. So finally put a, um, uh, Check the cylinder pressure in it. it. Had a bunch of dead cylinders. No, no compression. What happened was condensated. Condensated all them rings and all them rings in there seized up. Stuck. 
and they were all stuck. And that, that was a whole new engine rebuild. On a motor that was already rebuilt. <laughs> and like, and was like brand new. It was like brand new. So. Slow poke over here trying to take it off. So, we didn't do a whole lot this week besides pull that 604 crate motor out. We just got that out. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. As always, please like this video, comment below, share with your friends and family, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys next time.